You know you're better than that bridge. Where should I begin? Man upon a mission, still a martyr for the vision. Uh, had to find my voice when them people wouldn't listen. Uh, sacrifice my peace, knew my level double digits. Uh, sacrifice my pride, rather die than lose my spirit. Had to take a minute, let my lyrics match my mind frame. Funny how these addies had me trapped inside a mind state. If I see the morning, I'm just happy I'm alive. Stomach cut from, cut from that I harbor deep inside. Still a broken glass, ain't no tripping over spilled milk. How many times you fake it just to show them you the real deal? How many you inspire, leave you out the conversation? How many, me, me, me? Do it take to be the greatest? Let them take my flesh if it means I feed the nation. Mm. Let me keep my feet up and admire my creation. Uh, school of hard knocks, pay my dues and graduate. Uh, come a long way from hopping fences at the station. Pull up my entrance, like my exit. I just came to show face. Wins and losses made me humble, but I'm falling from grace. No more talking about the action when you're running in place. We made something out of nothing, just a regular day. We made something out of nothing, no applause for that. Mama do that every day and no rewards for that. Scars here, even when they say they're permanent. I was happy at my lowest. 
truth cause I learned from it I made hits at my sadness had to earn from it I might cut the Maserati just to learn in it I might cut the Maserati just to swerve in it Where do I begin? Uh, H-O-X-T-O-N-S where I've been uh, I had to get it, ain't no slipping where I live uh, I had to wake him, they was sleeping on the kid uh, Wait, where do I begin? Mm, H-O-X-T-O-N-S where I've been mm, I had to get it, ain't no slipping where I live uh, I had to wake him, they was sleeping on the kid uh, Big R wanna be there in ten. Where and when? Big R wanna be there in ten. I am the boogeyman scaring men. Call out my name and I appear with me. Come to a video shoot in your ends. I will turn up early yard than your cameraman. Bear equipment, you be thinking it's them. Hold on, wait there, where's this lens? There's his lens. Unsatisfied thing, where's his friends? You men are camping, my animals are out raiding for you, it's bare intense. Why would I scrap when I'm here with Man, don't care if your ears are bent. Nah. No, my I will ring every 15 like Big Ben. Test me how. Phone man's phone up, let's meet now. Kick this thing off like Jet Li. Bow. Given this man's Champions League goal scoring exploits, all eyes will be focused on him. Can he add to his total? We'll find out next on EA TV. And a very good evening to you on what is a soggy night here at the Bernabeu in Madrid. My name is Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary by Lee Dixon. And we're ready for UEFA Champions League group stage action tonight. It's Real Madrid up against Benfica. Well, three points after their first game in match day one. The visitors come here hoping to get another three points and consolidate their position. And this Champions League group stage contest commences. And let's dissect the Real Madrid side. Thibaut Courtois, the Belgian, will be in goal. Rafael Varane plays alongside Samuel Umtiti in the middle of the defence. And in attack, they could not in front. of that developing situation Saar now and the ball with Jensen for Nansch pretty easy to see Lee why many think Aiden Azar could dominate this game well he's got amazing finishing ability and when a player's got that it means you have to go that extra yard tighter and when you do that you leave space behind you so it puts the defender in two minds Rafael Varane, Casemiro, this is Kroos, room to roam for the Merengues here, Mendy, Casemiro, top class defending, Jetson Fernandes, 
Ruben Diaz. Grimaldo with it. Odrio Zola. And decent acreage for Real Madrid to run into. Hazard ready to take it on. And he did what he had to do defensively. That's very effective. Good high pressing. Vinicius. Good technique displayed. Is it going to be? And with that, they thwarted the opportunity. Steered out of play. And a throw in coming up. Florentino. It did look as though it was rather a fruitful avenue, but nothing doing. Now Casemiro. An important interception. And the ball with Jensen Fernandes. I believe there's been a goal in one of the other matches. Alan McAnally. It's a goal for the visitors. 29 minutes played. 1-0. Thanks, Alan. Trembley. Tony Kors. Kors. Rodrigo. Given away by Benfica. Oh, stylish ball. What can they do now? It's all about translating threats into goals. Well, they did have possession of the ball, but all that good work now counts for nothing. So tight this game. Who's going to break the deadlock? Be brave, be a hero, take chances. Maneuvering his way forward. Hazard. And a very good challenge. Well, the ref will hear the crowd all right. We can hear him from here. He's taking some stick. Can they get in behind them? He might profit from here, you know. And he has just veered into an offside position this time. Jetson Fernandes. Chiquinho. Not much defensive cover there on the flank. Now Casemiro. And that is that half time here in the Spanish capital. And this. And the second half of this Champions League group stage meeting is underway. Chiquinho. And it's Ruben Dias. Florentino. It needs an accurate cross. On the ball, Florentino. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. Jetson Fernandes. Lost into the penalty area. And he dealt with that ball played in rather well. Crossed accurately towards the far post. No nonsense clearance. Hazard. Aiden Azar is the sort of player who has you jumping out of your seat, but is he going to be a bit disappointed with his own performance? Well, no goals for him, no real chances either. He needs to help his team a little bit more just to get involved in the game. I think he would be the difference if he was playing better. Trembley, looking confident with the ball at his feet. Memphis Depay! And he's gone and scored for Real Madrid! Well, that's what Real Madrid do. They put you under pressure and you normally crumble. Well, 
Right, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? So underway again with Real Madrid in front. Half an hour remaining then. Saar now. Grimaldo with it. Jetson Fernandes. Couldn't keep it. Now let us point you in the direction of Champions League group stage. Milan. Well, a super atmosphere of cup football rarely lets you down. Exciting game that'll be, I'm sure, Derek. Moving the ball nicely, looking for that final pass. Not fantastic defending. Let's see if it helps the opposition. Benfica have totally controlled possession, but it's just whether they can convert that possession into clear-cut chances. You sense they need to pick up the pace a little. Start. utilizing the wide areas more the back line's doing a decent job hopefully the forwards can do that as well there has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes and now both sides will make personnel switches a really sumptuous ball very clever read Casemiro and cleared behind for what is going to be a corner kick Corner kick played in. Superb volley, but the woodwork gets in the way. Well, it's so difficult to get that on target. And he so nearly did. Well, the coach is kicking every ball down there in the technical area. I'm sure he thinks he could do better. This is Kroos. And it's a matter of what occurs in the final 15 minutes. With their noses in front in the second half, what will be the thinking in the camp, Lee Dixon? The Real players have to focus on not making any mistakes in order to protect that slender lead. If a bit of magic from the opposition gets them back in it, Aidan Azar with a lovely ball. Horse ready to fire. Well, he's elected to tip that over for the corner. Horse with the corner, and on the volley, that's not exactly how he intended to catch it. Well, it's worth a chance. One in ten, it goes in the top corner. Nine out of ten, goes where it did do. Vinicius. Well, great read there to intercept. Well, it must be really great for the Real Madrid players to hear this crowd. They've really helped them in this game so far. Not long to see it out now. Mendy. This might prove fruitful. Whatever it takes to keep them out. And possession lost, intercepted. Clear foul, but a Real Madrid advantage. So plenty of forward momentum from Real Madrid here. On the ball, Florentino. We've been waiting to find out. Now we know a minimum of three added minutes here. Rafael Varan. Well, they're attacking, but time is the great enemy. So close to keeping himself onside, but offside is the verdict. Well, and that's his job, the linesman. Give those tight offside decisions and get them right. And so the final whistle. Well, it was one step forward last time.
Well, most of the fans in attendance here have had to bring the... My name is Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary, as always, is Lee Dixon. And we've got Champions League group stage fair on the menu. It's Benfica, and they face Dinamo Zagreb. Yeah, it's important you're consistent throughout these group stages. You can't afford any slip-ups, no drop points. As before you know it, you're out the running. Anticipating a really good game today, Derek. Hopefully we're not disappointed. Well, here's the initial 11 for Benfica. And the positioning of the forwards particularly interesting. Yes, Derek, a four at the back and a conventional four across the midfield. But the two up front is what I'm looking at. It will become a one with a one behind. And that one behind will be playing in the Teddy Sheringham role. This is the lineup for the visitors today. Fairly conventional 4 5 1 setup. Yeah, that back four will be protected throughout the game with the five midfield players in front of them. Really important that they do support that lone striker when they do have the ball. Well, as we run the rule over the table in this group, it's all very tight. And so, well, visionary passing. On and on he goes in search of space. And the defender takes care of business. Opportunity to take the lead. Just a bit too high with that powerful effort. Yeah, he's just leaned back, Derek. Power was there, but not the direction. Well, you can probably see why we're focusing on this fellow as one to watch. 
Lee, in particular, what do you expect to see from his game? Well, every defender goes into the game not wanting three goals in three games to be the player you're playing against. And that's the case today. Jetson Fernandes. McNeil. Chiquinho. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. Well, he made sure there was absolutely no way through. Well, real difficulty keeping the ball. Nicola Moro. Canzior with it. Could be a chance to break here. And on the ball, Goyak. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. Morrow has it. And the... Oh, he's given it. Penalty. And an opportunity now for them to jump in front. A goal it is. A confidently taken penalty. 1-0 then. An unforced error, you've got to say. On the ball, Florentino. Chiquinho. Oh, a lovely ball. And will it be the leveller? They just couldn't stay in front. And now this match is all square. So, a level contest. 1-1. be able to play it in behind the defence well great read there to intercept nearly all the possession has been Benfica's but that doesn't lead to goals necessarily they haven't created enough too slow up front midfield can he give them the lead the game has been turned on its head they have never stopped believing and now they sense victory Well, look at this again. It's all about being in the right... place at the right time and from that sort of range is only one winner well 2-1 it is here he's given it straight to the opposition McNeil Grimaldo and the ball with Jetson Fernandes. On the ball, Florentino. Making progress. And cleared away. On the ball, Florentino. Giving the ball away. Mislav Orsic. So the whistle then. We're up the half. Underway then in the second half of this Champions League group stage confrontation. Moro. Mislav Orsic. Throw-ins given. On the ball, Ruben Dias. And the ball with Jetson Fernandes. Florentino. He's got the right idea with that pass. And the defender takes care of business. McNeil. Uh, the keeper completely untroubled. 
You've certainly got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Lee. Well, Derek, you're right. He has played well and goals win games. He's been a joy to watch in this form. Sit back and enjoy him in the second half. Not too fussy in clearing his lines. Now he must favour the cross. Can he open the door? Can he put it away? And a goal to increase their advantage to two overall. That little bit of a cushion. Now it's all about keeping the concentration. Well, here it is again. You're trained from a young age to get in those sort of positions. And never in any real doubt he'd finish that. Cool and composed. So there it is. 3-1 the current scoreline here. minutes left for play in this match well high marks for that pass well he's got plenty of space on the flank here well pass after pass maybe they can chisel an opportunity regain possession Benfica have totally controlled possession and all of their team are enjoying this performance. That's why they're winning and that's why they're one of the best teams. Far from a good pass. Getting forward. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Well, it's come down to the final 20 minutes here. Now well, the pass not finding its target. Tremendous block. Jules Kunde on the ball. On the ball, Florentino. Paulinho. And the cross is very much on. Inside he goes. The goals keep going in for them. I don't think they're going to throw this away now. Absolutely omnipotent. The ball rolling again in what has been an utterly one-sided match. A possession lost, intercepted. It's opening up for them. It needs an accurate cross. Veering in field here. Damian Canzior. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. They will now make use of their substitutes bench. Dino Peric. Strength and control, a big part of his game. Kunde. And using his strength to shield the ball. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. Turning inside, where's he going to go? Firing it towards goal. And it was straight at the keeper, but technically good goalkeeping. Mislav Orsic promising sequence now he must favour the cross been getting the substitute ready and now they will make the personnel change goes 
a whistle for full time and a night for the home fans to savour. Nights where daylight comes too soon. Everywhere I go, I bring them and them fruit. Got a shout out the girl them too. Nights where daylight comes too soon. Nights where daylight comes too soon. Everywhere I go, I bring them and them fruit. Got a shout out the girl them too. Nights where daylight comes too soon. Nights where daylight comes too soon. Everywhere I go, I bring them and them fruit. Got a shout out the girl them too. Nights where daylight comes too soon. Nights where daylight comes too soon. Everywhere I go, I bring them and them fruit. Got a shout out the girl them too. Nights where daylight comes too soon.
And a warm welcome on a fine night for football here at the San Siro. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary is Lee Dixon. And we've got Champions League group stage action to look forward to this evening. It's Milan up against Benfica. Well, thank you, Derek. With the visitors already qualified for the knockout stages, I'm pretty sure they'll want to come into the Lions' den and pinch top spot. Let's see how it goes, Derek. I'm looking forward to it. I'm pretty sure you are too. And Milan's lineup looks like this. And you tend to know what you're going to get tactically from this team. High pressing. Well, high pressing, high energy. I played this system at Arsenal many a year under George Graham. It doesn't half work when it works well. Sometimes you can just get exposed to the back, but they've got it down to a tee, to be fair. And here's the addition 11 for Benfica. And the positioning of the forwards particularly interesting. Yes, Derek, the four at the back and the conventional four across the midfield. But the two up front is what I'm looking at. It will become a one with a one behind. And that one behind will be playing in the Teddy Sheringham role. Andre Silva with it. Now Samu Castillejo. Davide Calabria. Yeri Mina, Marcos Llorente. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Andres Silva. Well, first great goalkeeping. Oh, we can't believe the goalkeeper saved that. That's brilliant. Elects to go short. Castillejo. Well, he was just a fraction offside then. That's all he needs to be, a fraction. And it was so close. Jetson Fernandes. So here is the table, and I was having a chat with some of the away fans ahead of kickoff. They're so buoyed by their performances over the last few games in the group stage. Tonight, they could rubber stamp first place lead. Yeah, they're going to need a little help from the other fixtures if that's to happen, but I think the manager will just be focused on getting the three points and see where you land at the end of the day. Well, you never quite know who's going to emerge from the shadows and become a match winner, but this man might be a decent shout. There's a slide draw pass. Surely it's come off the keeper. And the keeper has custody of the ball, but just a few seconds beforehand, he had a big save to make. Well, keep hold of it. Have a breather because that first save deserves us all to look at him and clap. Florentino. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. Has a go. Fairly routine for any goalkeeper. And that's a corner. He's driven in the corner. And he's banded against the woodwork with the header. Well, we're talking inches. So, so close with his head.
got to try to make it a bit more difficult for your opponent than that. Jota. Jetson Fernandes. Quick thinking to dispossess his opponent. Well, they're on the scent of something positive. Suso! And a fine stop. On the ball, Florentino. And the ball with Jetson Fernandes. Jules Kunde on the ball. Jota. Jetson Fernandes. Vinicius. And the ball with Jetson Fernandes. He's got the right idea with that pass. And it is the opening goal of the contest. Well, it was always going to be a tight game, but now all of a sudden one team ahead. Things have got to change on both sides. The opening goal of the game then. Going well. Crossing possibilities. Danger averted for now. Tackling and winning the ball to boot. Well, that's a foul, and it sets up a free kick in a dangerous position. Look at this technique, and he's inches over. Benfica really struggling in terms of possession, but when they've had the ball, they keep delivering the sucker punch. A great advert for low possession, counter-attacking football. It's really working. Running towards goal. And a foul in the opinion of the referee. Now, what can they do from this free-kick situation? Not the direction. Well, half time it is, and no surprise at all to see that they're currently in line. second half of this Champions League group stage confrontation and it crossed the touchline so a throw in here Jules Koundé on the ball on the ball Florentino Jota and a strong tackle Kessier has it Marcos Llorente. He's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Lee? He's found a pocket of space. 
Marco Llorente has it. Read it magnificently and intercepted. And providing width. Crossing possibilities. And up for grabs off the keeper. Clumps clear. Really sitting deep now. That could be problematic. Well, they get high marks for that move, but they couldn't make it count. Andre Silva. Kessier has it. Calabria. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Just unable to get his cross beyond the first defender. Florentino. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Well, he needed to read it to get there, and did. And now Suso. Teo Hernandez. Crisp tackling. Vinicius. And now passing it through. Can he make it count? separated by two goals now you cannot say they don't deserve it well let's look at this again we've all hit these in training first time bang in the back of the net look at the calmness of it technique brilliant well let's have another view of that goal Something you don't see every day of the week. A triple substitution here. Well, a second goal for them here. Space on the flank. Sam Maxima has it. Marco Llorente has it. Andre Silva with it. Suso. Possession changes hands, the interception there. Under real pressure here. Grimaldo. 15 minutes remaining. Jota. An abundance of space. It has to be. Simple save, really. Samu Castillejo. He's got space. Castillejo. Llorente. Working away patiently, looking for an opening. Calabria. Well, let's see about the cross. They've got themselves back into it. A lifeline in this game. And this could be a dramatic finale. Well, we're going to see that again and let's see the cross again. It's absolutely brilliant. Good power on it. And then watch this heady goal. So there we have it. 2 1. Well, there's still scope for late drama here. Five minutes left and just one goal between the sides. Well, there's been a goal in the Real Madrid game. Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Real Madrid. Four minutes remain. 1 1. And he takes on the shot. And he got to it fairly easily. Oh. 
We've had the official word. There will be a minimum of two added minutes. Samu Castillejo. And the referee decides that that will be the last piece of action tonight. Andres Silva. Well, first-rate goalkeeping. Oh, he can't believe it. It's a privilege to be here today for this very special fixture. Every time they meet each other, these two teams, it is a very special day. Hopefully it lives up to the billing. Join us for the kickoff, and it's live. Hi there, everyone.
Martin Tyler along with Alan Smith. Welcome to the top fixture of the season, really, home or away. It's the special one. It's Porto against Benfica coming up for you and looking forward to it very much. Yeah, no, love lost. The rivalry is intense. The two big boys of Portuguese football. What a match we've got here. Diaz. Sergio Oliveira. It's Musa Marega. With his skill, here's a chance to have a run at goal and take the opposition on. Brave blocking. Trying to catch the other team out with a quick break here. Must take the lead here. Well, it was a bit desperate, but what a good challenge. That's a turnover to the opposition. Here's Jetson Fernandez. Surely. Super block. Well, they come here, the visitors, with this wonderful defensive record. Actually, it is the best defensive record in the division. This with a chance to go into the lead now. The shot is blocked. Well, they managed to get out of harm's way then because it looked as though there was going to be some real damage done to them. Could whip it in from here. And the referee lets them go on. Advantage played by him. Can't get past him. Such a good defender. Now they've got the ball. Let's see what they can do with it. Diaz. He's got some room out here in the wide position. I think the cross is on. Well, it was considered controlled attacking play, but it's come to nothing in the end. Tries the shot. He blocked it then. Swung in from the corner. Disappointed that that didn't lead to more. That's the way to win the ball back. He wants to pull it back here. And it's in. And it's Porto who are celebrating. A terrific goal. It's come in from a long way out. And from that angle, it's not always easy to finish. Defenders caught out by it in the end. And that has opened the scoring. 1 0 here. He's held off the challenge there. And kept possession. Way for a goal pick. We see that goal again, don't we? Here's uh, Danilo Pereira. Diaz. Opportunity to cross it now. Towards the near post. It's not a cross that's caused the defence any problems. It's certainly not the goalkeeper. Now Grimaldo. The pass not completed, really. He fancies his chances of getting past these players. Trying to get behind the defenders to get in a good cross. Patient play from them. And it's a shot now! A goal! Ruled out here, it was offside. Well, the lad took it well, but quite rightly the linesman flag goes up. Done well to protect possession for his team. Well, they haven't been at their best, Benfica. They would be the first to admit that, but they haven't been at their worst either. The scoreline's probably... A little bit unfair on them, so they've got to be bold now, particularly in the second half, which isn't that long away, of course. Diaz, Sergio Oliveira. Teammates getting out of the way because they know he can dribble it here. Squandering possession cheaply, really, with that pass. Oh, 
this could bring them level. Well, they managed to... So it's 1-0 here as the half-time was... Referee just checking everything is in order. And he blows for the second half to start. Here's Jetson Fernandez. Can whip it in now. forward taking on the opposition and the responsibility as well just a mistake really He's not even asked too much of the opponent it's just a mishit pass this is the sort of side with the credentials to win the league and they're getting themselves in a good position to do that they are I mean they've not been uh, phased at all by being top sometimes it can affect teams uh, in a in a less than positive way, but uh, they look as if that. Danilo Pereira pushed out by the goalkeeper, but only into a dangerous area. It's Musa Narega. Oh, the fans come. In with a chance. And he scored! Oh, no wonder he goes over to thank the lad who set him up there, because that was a wonderful move. I think they practiced that one on the training ground. Just widen the margin here to 2 0. We've reached the hour mark. Half an hour to go. They're looking to make the change now as quickly as possible, the home team. Well, that looked a decent chance to attack until the player managed to read the pass. Porto enjoying the lovely ball. In front of goal. Brilliant goal. One team really on their game today, the other very off-colour. Ross worked with the ball then. And here's a chance! They look at the ref, and he says penalty! Didn't hesitate, did he? Pointed to the spot. Penalty given, Alan, but no sign of a card. No, I think that's fair enough. I think penalty award is perhaps punishment enough. And he scores from the spot. Just a reminder, 3-1 it is now. There. Nakajima. Have a look at what's on now from this wide position, not closed down. Looking for teammates in the middle. They had a chance really to put that into a much more dangerous area. Has to go down as a poor cross. Well, that's over the top of the defender and one to chase. To go in from here, decided to go infield, looking dangerous. Just over a quarter of an hour left on my watch. It's Musa Marega. Sergio Oliveira. Nakajima. Here's uh, Danilo Pereira. Here they are still probing away. Well, a corner to come because of that deflection. As far as uh, central midfield players' performances have gone in games we've seen recently, Alan, this is right up there, isn't it? He's going to be uh, replaced now. Well, I thought he was going to be in for a really superb work to reach that great technique and great belief to feel that he could stop the goal. We all love looking at goals, Martin, but there's something special about a defender showing those kind of defensive instincts. One of the great European names from uh, way back when European football first started, Ben Finke, and now they're not looking like a great name at any level really at the moment they've got him behind here 
over the goalkeeper to the back post. He's got it away. Oh, it could be dangerous. Slipping it through. Well, the reward is a goal for winning the ball high up the pitch. Well, we could see it coming, I think. I think even the team that's just conceded could see it coming because they kept on losing the ball in dangerous areas there. Well, we're pleased as neutrals, Alan. It's brought it back into contention again. They're just one behind. Well, at one stage, I, I thought they were down and out, but fair play. They've rallied, shown great character. Well, plenty of goals here today, 3-2. Well, they're getting the ball forward, they need to do that. There will be a minimum of two Spaced across the ball now. Oh, he could have got his cross in. The defender blocked it well. That is the final whistle. A few final thoughts is there.
Well, tension in the air here. It's got all the ingredients, hasn't it? And it's our main feature today on EA TV. Join us soon. We are in Lisbon today. Martin Tyler here with Alan Smith. And we are thrilled to be here. It's a Lisbon derby. Benfica, who do roll out the honours, serial league winners. Sporting, who produce a lot of players, but not so many trophies. But they want to have their say today, Alan. Well, what we have got, Martin, as well as a wonderful atmosphere, are two good teams. And you look at the players within those sides, and there's so much match-winning talent in there.
referee blows his whistle. The flag was up for offside. And this is the team Benfica are going to field today. It does look more like 4-4-1-1 than 4-4-2. Yes, I think so. I mean, it gives the manager the option of stiffening his midfield. And when they get the ball, you know, that number 10, if that's what you want to call him, behind the centre forward, he can supply the bullets, he can get in the box and give his teammates some company. Oh, he's done really well, the defender there. Check on the team news for you for Sporting. We've got it down as a 4-3-3. Yeah, it's a system that the Netherlands used to use all the time. I think really they invent. Tries the shot. The coach promised a fast start. And look what's happened. You've seen that goal, and it's really been coming right from the kickoff. Oh, my word. What a fantastic strike from that side of the box. Top left that corner. the scoring, 1-0 here. Well, you don't win anything, Alan, do you, for being top at this stage of the season, but it's uh, quite a, an experience to enjoy, particularly for the fans when the league table is published, and they will go top if they win. Well, we're past the halfway mark, Martin, aren't we now, and this is when the league table really does begin to take shape. On this side, I would think, we'll keep in a similar position right through to the end. It's full of quality. Alan McAnally wants to join it. Looking for a through ball. That's out of danger there with that clearance. Apologies to Alan McAnally for actually intervening there. Let me just recap what Alan said. But the visiting team have scored. They are winning 1-0. Got to be. Oh, what a fine goal. They lead by two now. They'll feel a little bit more comfortable than their good value for this advantage at the moment and he's just stroked it home first time really classy composed goal that restarting at 2-0 Palinia Diaby Here they are, still probing away. Rossier. It's a neat pass. And it's a shot now! Oh, the goalkeeper puffs out his cheeks because that was a bit easier. But the other save was superb. Well, that's what they work on in training, don't they? These double saves, getting back on the feet, back into position. Yeah, Benfica. Look at those stats, controlling possession. No wonder they're winning. With that possession, they've taken their chances. They've played some lovely football to be comfortably on top here. Bit of space to go forward into with the ball. From the bylock, off the post. It's another one for them. They go further in front, and they are full value for this position. Well, there is a big difference between these two teams, and that goal has meant it's reflected in the scoreline. I think uh, it's going to be a strong from here on in because they've got a big cushion, rightly so, well in the lead. One team really on their game today, the other very off-colour. Well, here he goes. It's good to see a player do this. This is a good opportunity to put the ball into the penalty area now. Valentin Rossier. Now Pereira. Excellent interception. He's got it away. taking on the opposition and the responsibility as well. <laughs> Giving the ball away now. Well, 
Only two more minutes to be added on by the referee now. Getting the ball back and thinking attack straight away. Threads it through. Closed him down well. The cross doesn't come in. Good defending. Well, this guy looks like he's the one the opposition having the most problems with. Well, the defence knew all about him beforehand, but they really haven't got tight enough. And as a result, he's been working the keeper, and he's got on the score sheet, hasn't he, a few times. Corner played into the middle. It's a corner that's been wasted, really. So we've reached the break. 3-0 for half-time score. Well, what a player. What a performance in that first. And he was in the box when it mattered to grab himself a cup. You don't often get a first half as one-sided as this one. They've been very good, the team that are leading, of course. Mateus Pereira. Diaby. Luis Neto. Kalinia. And they're looking good when they get the ball out wide, as they've done here. Defender did well to get to it, but hasn't really finished the job. They've seen the shot. The goalkeeper will be hoping that all his work today is as easy as this save. Well, let's break away for a moment to go to Alan McAnally, who's got news of a goal in the game he's watching. It's a second goal for the visitors. 53 minutes played. 2-1. Thank you very much, Alan. There's some movement in the dugout. We're going to get a change here. He's cut it out. Transfer deal has been done. We've heard that officially from Paris Saint-Germain today. Yeah, I'm reading around £55 million, pounds, which I think will be good value. Let's see how he settles in that squad. Alinea. One or two options now in forward areas for them. One of their better passers, and he's given it away here. Keeping the ball so important, they haven't done it. Well, there's one for him to chase in behind. Corner kick given. Top player, top performance today from him. Right on his game. He's being substituted now. And the crowd have loved watching his performance. Yeah, it's just all gone right. Doesn't happen all the time, but... One of those days where he didn't really put a foot wrong. In goes the corner. And he had the shot following that corner kick. Well, I think they've practiced that one and the opposition will be ready for it next time. Found good room out here. A poor technique there. It's definitely a yellow in the mind of the referee, definitely. Well, I think it unquestionably was. I mean, on another day, he might have got a red for that. It was a really dangerous challenge. He took a chance there, really, and I don't think it paid off. Has he lost control here? Gone to ground. It is a foul, no doubt about it. You can almost sense the crowd getting nervous here. Well, with him, you know he's going to go for goal, but he's had better efforts, many of them. I'd be surprised if he is allowed to take the next one after that. Still 20 minutes to go. There's going to be a substitution. It's for the away team. Now Pereira. Here's Palinha. Oh, he's given offside. Yeah, he's playing on the shoulder, but just needs to hold his run a touch. It is going to be a change here, and it looks like a strategic one.
still got a bit to do, but this is promising. And the keeper doing his job. Palinia. The much travelled Alan McAnally is out and about, and he's at a game where there's been a goal. Alan guiding it through the defenders. Probing away, working away at the opposition with these passes. Off the keeper, back into play. Seven more minutes to go. Chance for a break in numbers. Or plenty of speed, but not much organisation. And the ball lost at a crucial time. seen the shot well now it looks like a question of just how many they really are on top now stretching the lead looking like the real winners of this match not letting up the opposition just wish the final whistle would go now and we can see a slightly different viewpoint on it going to make a change and it's clearly a tactical one there doesn't seem to be any injury involved well we're in the last few minutes now and the die has been cast in this game really tried to play it through cut out by the opposition and it's going to be a minimum of three minutes to be played of added time Well, he's gone in a bit on the wild side. Well, the ref's given a foul here, and it's a bad one. Yellow. Yeah, no surprise there at all. It's Ruben Diaz. That's it. Final whistle. Well, they're going to really remember this for a long time.
I must be a criminal. Yeah. Keep you talking minimal. Yeah. Cause most of us subliminal. Yeah. And it'll put you in a critical. Yeah, yeah. Used to be invisible. Yeah. They would refer to me as mythical. Yeah. Sipping up the yeah, eye, sipping slow. Yeah. Not on my level, not on your tippy toes. Yeah. Walking the bank and I yell, give me those. Yeah. Hot as a stove, yeah, I'm wearing Fendi clothes. Yeah. I'm on my spot, yeah, look at Wendy know. Yeah. My eating, they getting in the rows. Yeah. If you go shots, you know my men are roll. Yeah. Up with your block, that you look at pitiful. Yeah. Ten of the windows, I need a minute, yo. Yeah. I leave your missus all mad and miserable. Yeah. You picked the wrong time to pick a fight. You yeah. think she ice. Enough for you to say goodnight for the rest of your life. I know your sons won't miss you. I did a favor for them. Took a loss to a winner. Rick Ross, you been dinner. You ain't living on the ring stock. Really in your ring tight. Precious like a king socks. Your real car is a slingshot. Don't need it that you a slingshot. If I was a beverage, you would have to drink hot. Got a job, I got to do. I get out of dirty too. What it is, what it do. Say nothing new. Got a job, got to do. I get down and dirty too. What it is, what it do. Say nothing new. Got a job, I got to do. I get down and dirty too. What it is, what it do. Say nothing new. Got a job, I got to do. I get down and dirty too. What it is, what it do. Say nothing new. Having flashbacks, where your past at? Where the cash at? Ayo, fat. I was just for Rex. Run on me. Flat. Are you okay? Please don't ask that. I don't act black. Got a fat cat. You a rat rat. Rat a tat tat. So much shots, I drip bras. The wait is over. I'm taking yeah. over. You're overweight. You ate a soda. Yeah. I'm super. You d- yeah. Coca Cola. Yeah, yeah. Ahead of you. Like a closure. Yeah. When Troy died, I had to find some closure. Yeah. Don't push me. F- I am not a stroller. Yeah. Hop one f- like bread and toast. Yeah. Cup, you should use a coaster. Yeah. I'm on the post and need to do like kosher. Yeah. So I shop at Dover. Do faces. Yeah. And I call them growers. Yeah. But if he can't rover, I'm that older. Yeah. Wanna be like me when I get older. Yeah. Talk to guys, then he came yeah. over. Talk to guys, then he came yeah. over. Got a job, I gotta do. Yeah. I get down to dirty too. Yeah.
My intuitions I know we want to feel Every part of what we got I'm chasing what is real I promise I won't get cut I can't have fantasy Of what I should be A game that should get pulses racing. Two of the foremost sides in Europe on a collision course. It's Benfica, and they take on Barcelona. It's coming up live next on EA TV. A very good evening to you from one of the great capitals in Europe. We are talking to you from the Portuguese capital, Lisbon. Derek Ray here on the commentary box, joined as always by former Arsenal and England fullback Lee Dixon. We've got action from the round of 16 in the Champions League to bring you. It's Benfica facing Barcelona. Round of 16, Derek, this is where I feel that the smaller clubs still have a chance to knock one of the big teams out. As the competition goes on a little bit, the focus starts to get more concentrated from those big clubs. So what can these smaller clubs do? Tidy in possession. Messi. De Jong. Vidal. And now Ricardo Pereira. Always difficult to predict in advance. Who, and he's made headway. Big chance it is. The ball back. An early goal. It is the 